Hi there, Lime Macedo. Sweeney you from LimeMacedo.com. Who's Lime Macedo and Think Personal Branding? All right. I had um, uh, two other videos that I put up. Um, links I'll put in the description box below. One was 13 things nobody can predict about UAE and uh, 20 reasons why the UAE market will bounce back. This one is nine reasons why the UAE job market will absolutely change. Okay. Now, will it change for the better or will it change for the worse? That's to be seen. However, um, these are the nine reasons that I strongly believe uh, taking all the information from reliable sources, not just from the hyped up media or the pessimist, uh, the negative media, from reliable sources, from people who are actually working in the market, nine reasons why the job market will change. The first one, okay, is obviously Expo 2020. Now, uh, you have put, the UAE government has put so much on the line. They have put their respect, their reputation, their marketing activities, everything into Expo 2020, okay? So obviously, when you have um, a lot of construction going on, you'll have to take care of those people, you'll have to take care of those companies. So there, there is something happening. There is something happening. And because of which new jobs have been ca have uh, come up, new positions have come up, new requirements have come up. Now, agreed, uh, the existing companies, those who are there, who are the big elephants or the big giants, they are no longer there. So when, you know, the old guard passes, the new one comes. Like, uh, uh, keep this in mind. You had Nokia, that was the king of the smartphones. Then you had BlackBerry that came up and now, you know, uh, it was Apple and now it's Samsung and Apple. Then it's uh, going to be Huawei. So, uh, you know, there's always a chain of guard. So Expo 2020 is literally going to bring a chain of guard and that would bring about new jobs and remove existing jobs. So it's going to be plus and minus. The second one is the introduction of new projects. Now, UAE depends on... Uh, announcing new projects. That is why when even before a project is into two or two, uh, two or three months into its execution, you have another project being announced. There's always new projects being announced. Like you have uh, right now, the buzzword is uh, flying taxis. You have uh, mission to Mars. You have um, artificial intelligence. You have obviously Expo 2020. You have even the Expo 2020 has not even started. And the buzz has already started post Expo 2020, what's going to happen. So there's always new projects being announced. Now, whether the project will be completed or not, most probably they do not end up being completed. Or even if they end up being completed, the suppliers or the vendors end up having a big loss or they have to run pillar to post to collect their money. That is another topic by itself. So whether if you keep all that aside, the very fact that they announce new projects does create a buzz in the job market okay because you need people to execute these jobs otherwise how would you uh, you know how would you complete the project the next one this one you'd see happening very strongly all over the uae the relaxed rules uh uae is trying to position itself as a very nice kind loving place the new pr that is why they came out with the z's year of tolerance uh they bought in the pope you know they made a big hoo-ha out of that then they made a big hoo-ha out of uh, okay we are constructing a hindu temple um and now you know they they just trying to show that we are a very tolerant country and uh they're trying to you know anytime there's a crime and they feel they can forgive this person they make it okay the year of tolerance um they're also uh canceling a lot of okay you renew your license this year i'll cancel your charges you renew your, uh, let's say, expenses, we'll cancel that. Your uh, fines that you have to pay for violating whatever uh, for your car, your vehicle, okay, pay in installments. So they are trying to relax the rules so, so as to attract investors. And obviously, when you have a global event like Expo 2020, you want to relax the rules so that people who come in with the money, you grab the money and you say, thank you very much, invested here. Okay, so when they relax the rules, you would see a lot more people come in. And uh, that is actually good for the economy because now you get more people wanting to start a business because there are so many people who have not been to UAE, okay? Uh, UAE only has a population of hardly 9 million. And uh, now you have people who are like, oh, uh, UAE, let's see, maybe I'll start a business. Maybe I'll open a shop, a cafe or something. It's so easy because remember this, in UAE, 
to open a business, to open a business, you can do it within 24 hours. In fact, you can do it within an hour. If you have the money and the documentation, you go to a free zone, you can open a company within one hour. Why do you think so many people with black money are coming there and converting into white? Okay. So relaxed rules are going to be much more relaxed. So that is also going to help the job market. Okay. It'll create um, new threats for the existing people who have businesses, but it's going to create new job opportunities. Point number four, while the job market is actually going to uh, change drastically is the Western uh, bloc that is uh, EU, especially EU, European Union, um, their, their merger is falling apart. US and it's the, the dollar is losing its value. Uh, even the British pound is unable to sustain itself with you know all the headaches that have come with Brexit. One time it's yes, one time it's no. We don't know what the fuck is happening. Nobody knows what the fuck, what, what the fuck is a Brexit and why the fuck is a Brexit. Nobody knows. Okay. But all this is making investors really nervous. And when investors are nervous, they don't invest. And when people don't invest, no new jobs are created. So EU is not doing very well. And because of this, obviously people have to work. Obviously people need jobs. So they are going to, okay, there's nothing happening in the EU market. Let me look outside and which is the next country that they look at. They always look into the Middle East and in the Middle East, there's only one country that comes to mind, which stands out above all the rest UAE because it's the most modern. So this will also impact the job market, positive or negative. We need to see number five is the countries that were not being aggressively targeted by the UAE are now being targeted. We have Thailand. You have Indonesia, you have Africa, you have China. We, we never saw UAE targeting people from these countries to come and work. Okay, we normally saw them trying to attract the West. India by default had its overpopulation coming there. In a strange way, they're also targeting India in a very strange way. It's like pretty bizarre. It's like not just South India. Now they're trying East India or they're trying North India or they're trying uh, West of India. They are trying new, new areas in India, trying to get, um, you know, attract professionals from different walks of life. So this is also creating um, a kind of opportunity and threat for the job market. Number six, this is what I've noticed very strongly because I know key people in different positions. Uh, no big salaries are being offered before. It was like either a very big salary or an ordinary salary, hardly anything in between. Now it's like um, apart from the salary, they try to offer something that is equally competitive or attractive, like, which is actually a catch, which is actually a catch. Like they'll offer, okay, we'll take care of your child's education. We'll, we'll give you accommodation. We'll take care of your spouse's employment. So <clears throat> something or another, they merge with the salary. And um, this proves to be much more attractive than having a very big salary. Like, for example, if you give someone uh, accommodation, Okay, that itself is like a person say, wow, that takes care of so, you know, like 60% of my salary. So they are playing around with these remuneration packages, which kind of helps. And you can be rest assured those days where they were offering very big salaries, they're not going to be there. Very big bonuses are not going to be there. They're going to give um, a kind of sensible salary, which would attract a different breed of professionals. Okay, next one, number seven. This we have seen every single time. But now what I'm noticing is because of the power and growth of social media, um, UAE obviously is miles ahead, miles ahead in adopting and adapting new strategies because they employ the best brains. Sometimes it works. So that is why they are, they are really having a very strong PR team to ensure the social media hype is always there. For example, when the New Zealand shootings took place, Burj Khalifa changed it into New Zealand Prime Minister hugging that girl. Sri Lankan bombing took place. They changed Burj Khalifa to Sri Lanka's flag. Indian Independence Day, they changed Burj Khalifa. Always that, that big, at some point it lose its essence. Anyway, so they keep having news that they want to push and make it go viral. Like Sheikh Mohammed visited the post office. He was not happy that news, they try to push it viral. Uh, they're going to send one guy to Mars. That news, they try to put it, um, uh, you know, make it go viral to the moon. Airport taxis, uh, sorry, sky taxis or whatever they try. So they're always trying to put hype and positivity. Remember, year of tolerance. Okay, they always try to position UAE as 
uh, with a lot of hype speculation. Now, obviously, people are not falling for easy money, you know, like the Instagrammers or YouTubers showing expensive cars. Now, those those days no longer work now. Now, people know that it's not all flashy there. So they are trying different ways. And this also affects the job market because now people who are looking for jobs will come into the market. Number eight is the media is going to be more controlled. But by control, it's not just the ministry having they are going to employ brains in different parts of the world to do the marketing for UAE. And I even got um, I even got a gentleman who said, why don't you put something positive? We can speak about a package. OK, so it's happening everywhere. It's happening and all countries do that. It's not just Russia meddling into US politics. It's not just USA doing it. Um, today, all the countries are smart. You can employ brains from anywhere. OK, and last but not the least, I would say this human characteristic is the key reason why uh, the job market is going to change. And that is the survival of the fittest. Always keep in mind, if you're a guy uh, with a family, you have a spouse, you have children and you lose your job, you're going to do whatever it takes to get another job. You're going to do whatever it takes to save money. You're going to do whatever it takes to help your children and your spouse survive. I would do that for my family. You do that for yours. Anyone would do it for theirs. So the survival of the fittest will come into play. That is why people will be asking for lesser salaries, more responsibilities. And uh, there'll also be another uh, group who will say that, you know, I don't need to take shit. Go and buy someone else who wants to work cheap for you. So um, it's going to change the dynamics of the market. So these are the nine reasons why I truly believe that the job market will change because I've been watching LinkedIn. I've been seeing the shift, the pattern of how people are actually applying for jobs. In fact, uh, uh, it's like people are putting up more videos of one minute each on LinkedIn. They're putting uh, more, you know, LinkedIn has become like a dustbin. It's become like a Facebook where people wrote all sorts of shit also there. Um, you know, those days where an unemployed uh, female could put, I'm a what uh, influencer, I'm a TED talk speaker, I'm a, a digital marketer, I'm an entrepreneur. Uh, actual fact is she's unemployed. Those days are gone. Okay. So I can see the shift happening even in social media. So these are the nine reasons why I feel the job market of UAE is going to change it drastically. Uh, people are being more intelligent, more smart. They don't want to repeat the same mistakes that the previous generation did. And that is why I feel the entire dynamics of UAE, especially after with the introduction of tax, um, uh, the expenses going up, the unpredictability in the market, the want and need for security, uh, the shift of uh, the brain drain that is happening from the Middle East countries to our other places, the lack of unity of OPEC. I think you're going to see major shifts happening in the UAE market. So let me know what do you think? What do you think? Is it going to be more for the positive or more for the negative? OK, because I've given you a balanced argument for both. I'd really be interested to know what do you think. And uh, please put your comments down below. I will just read them. And um, I'd love to hear from you. So this is me, Lloyd from LloydMissita.com, who's Lloyd Missita and Think Personal Branding, sharing with you his thoughts. Let me know what you think. This is me signing off for now. Take care.